Hi, welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. My name is Jamie and I'm an application engineer for Vision Systems. And today we're looking at the FH Vision System and I'm going to run through a tool called Custom Dialog. The Custom Dialog tool is a, a tool that simplifies the setup needed um, in the FH, maybe for less skilled users, uh, less things to maybe to, to alter. So what I have here is um, an image with a data matrix code on and some human readable text. On uh, the right hand side we can see the program, so we're reading the 2D code. I'm positioning the OCR tool off of the 2D information. And we're reading three lines of text with one OCR tool. So you can quickly see what's configured in the OCR tool. Um, here I've actually set it into OCV mode. So what that means is the tool's obviously going to read it and it's going to compare it to a string that's sent to the vision system via a PLC um, or it can be manually entered onto the system or it can actually use the information here that's within the, the 2D code to actually compare the data. So what I'm going to do is just leave it as we're going to enter this data. Now normally you would have to navigate your way to this screen, type the data in, which may be deemed a bit too much for some, some people. So what I'm going to do is create a, a, an interface that allows you to do that um, with minimal button presses. So we have a tool called Custom Dialog and, and Custom Dialog Tool. So I've added the buttons here just for speed. So let's delete what I already have in there. So I'm going to add a normal dialog to this screen. And this is sort of the background for all the editing of what I'm going to put. And that's dialog zero. Okay. I'm now going to add a region setting dialog. You can see here I've made the ID of dialog one. And I'm going to link that to the OCR tool. So what I'm going to do is when that dialog is called, it's going to allow me to set the measurement region of the OCR tool. Okay. So we jump back into the normal tool, we go to the spanner, and now we've got like a an editing piece of editing software where we can add things to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an image button. I'm going to give that a name. Text region. And here it's asking me what event do we want to happen when we press this button. So by default, it's apply and close. It's a bit of a spelling mistake there. What we want to do is fire the other dialog. So I want to fire, or the event to happen is I want to trigger dialog one. So we set that there. And just to see if that works, we can click the magnifying glass, and this is our now blank template screen, text region. We can edit, and we can modify the region. Zoom out of there. Close. We can now add, let's say, a keyboard. And what I want this keyboard to do is write to those verification uh, units in the OCR tool. So there's different ways we can do that. So we can do it by using the unit data number for the OCR tool, which can be found in the manual. We could have created our own variables, which um, I haven't done in this example. So we, let's go, we're going to use a unit, unit data number. So now we need to look at what that number is. We go down to here in its target string expression. And it's the first line, so it'll be 220. So we can now copy, paste, copy, paste. This one will be 221. And this one to get to the third line will be 222. So when the information is entered, we need to save it as well. So we need to add in a image button, which we're going to call save. I'm going to leave that as apply and close. So it'll actually close the dialog down when it's pressed. And another image button. Let me position it here. And we'll call that close. And that's the event that's going to be is close. So now let's rename it to close. OK. 
can resize this because we don't need so much space. And now we can just see what it looks like. So if we wanted to enter some information here, save. So that's a basic screen. So we come out of there. We can give it a title as well. So we can call this setup. Enter. OK. So now I entered some information in that tool earlier. Let's see if it's come across. So you can see line three is now set to loads of ones. So if we remeasure that, we've now got a failure because the data we set is either blank or it's all the ones and we've got a no good. So let's now set some data in here to see if we can get it to pass. So the first thing we need to do measure and now we have a pass and if we wanted to as you said if we wanted to move the region we hit this button we can make this region a bit bigger so you can see the impact there that it's actually made the region bigger some people might not might not like the wording of custom dialogue so what we can actually do here is in another hidden feature of FH unless you read the manual from cover to cover is we can add some more buttons to the window. And here we've got addition of window parts. And what I'm going to do is add the execute button. You can see here we've got many, you know, we can add many buttons. It's now adding my button here, and now I need to configure it. So I click the spanner, and I want a data type, I want it to be direct. I want the dialog ID to be dialog zero. I can now give a button a name, so I'm going to call it setup button, bold text, a bit bigger, change the colour of the background, and now we have a new button at the top of the screen. So if we hit the setup button now, it's exactly the same as the custom dialog button, but probably means is a bit more meaningful to the to the user. And again obviously now if I want to make this fail, I'll just change that last number. We measure and now we've got a failure down here the target string does not match so that's one way of creating a custom dialog while on the subject I'll quickly show you another um, sort of unit uh, or dialog button type so in here so let's delete this last keyboard and what we can do is actually put in like a it's called a combo box, but it's like a drop down menu. So, in here, we can add here. So, again, we want to link this box or combo box to the OCR tool. So, we know from memory it was 222. Two, two. Um, the strings for the products, but give them a name. So, we can have product one. Hundred thirty. Product two. Product three. And so on. So now let me jump back into our tool and I'll set up the button. We can now set our data here with our keyboard as before. But now we can just select product one and save, remeasure, and we're now passing again. We go back into here, product two, found. So 
and so on. So it's a very brief introduction to what you can do with a custom dialogue, but hopefully it gives you an insight um, into that. Thanks for watching.